Hi all and welcome to my channel, maybe again. Uh, so, today I'm going to show you how you can copy anyone with the help of Spark AI Studio, especially yourself. So, let's begin. Um, the idea is pretty much simple. Uh, it is frame freeze with some extra steps. So, you have to freeze the frame and you have to freeze the user segmentation. Let's go to device, we'll create a default pipeline, and now we'll try to stop the frame. So, how to stop the frame, I have explained in my previous tutorial, uh, the link will be in the description and also here. We'll add a shader render pass, we'll add a delay frame, and we will add a receiver. We'll connect, we'll name delay frame user1 because we'll have two users and we'll connect it uh, receive with delay frame user1. Hope. And we want to stop our camera detection, so connect it to the first frame in delay frame user1 and mix it with delay frame user1. and connect mix to shader. So, the next step, we have to freeze our segmentation. So I will move it, I will add a segmentation to our patch editor. I will copy this structure and I will name it delay frame user one segmentation. I will name this also shader and the pass user one segmentation. Oop. And then I will connect our segmentation to delay frame user one segmentation. First frame, we have an error because we have to add a shader render pass. So connect it to first frame. Okay. And then connect person segmentation mask texture with delay frame use it one segmentation. Okay, now we will add our rectangle. We will name it user one and we'll create a material. So fill with fill his material flat We'll name it user one mat and we'll click on texture and we'll connect this texture with the name frame user one shader render pass. Okay, and be careful now. So go to user one material, uh, check alpha and choose here shader render pass user one segmentation texture. So I will add a trigger, let it be screen tap. Okay. And if depth then one else zero. I will add a value. So I will connect a value with alpha here and alpha here. So now we'll try to stop my body. Click on screen. And yes, it's working. Fine. So, but what if you want to have not just one user stopped, 
but two different body frames. So we'll copy um, user one duplicate and we'll copy a material duplicate. So I will call it user two material. Okay, and I will connect user to a rectangle with material. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine now. So I will disable my user to rectangle. So just the first rectangle first person is visible. And I will move some parts in my patch editor so everything is better visible. So now I have to copy all this structure. So all this copy paste and I will move it somewhere here. So and be careful now. I will name it delay frame user two delay frame user two segmentation shadow render pass user two segmentation. Now I will choose here delay frame not user one but user two delay frame not user one segmentation but user two segmentation. Okay. And I will connect user to material with shader and the path. Let's call let's call it also user two. So nice. Everything is fine now. And also uh, check here alpha. And you have to choose Shader and the Pass User 2 Segmentation Texture. So, but um, we should know whether we're clicking the first time or the second time. So, when I for, uh, click the first time, the first rectangle with my first, first uh, freeze frame should be visible. And when I click the second time, my second rectangle with the second freeze frame should be visible. Let's do it. I will add a counter. Then I will do some logic. Screen tap. Um, greater or equal than one, if true, then one. I will also duplicate this, type boolean. I will connect this boolean to user one visible. So when we are clicking, then only the first rectangle is visible. And connect this logic if true then one with the first mix alpha and I will copy the structure. So I will connect user to rectangle visible with greater or equal to if greater or equal to then one else zero connect it with user to mix alpha and now we'll try if everything is working fine so uh, we are clicking now the first time. Okay, it's working. Uh, the first rectangle is visible and freezed, and we are clicking now the second time. Yeah, it's working fine.
cool. So, uh, it's pretty much it, but... <laughs> and now I want to make some cool preview for my video. So, I will go to Spark AI library. I will add a duotone shader. I will place it on patch editor. And I will connect it to the first texture of my first rectangle. And I will do pretty much the same for the second one. For my second texture, I will choose a color. Let it be hmm, red. So, let's make some snip. <laughs> Look at this dude. So, okay, it's pretty much it. Um, subscribe to my channel and push likes if you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I will also um, post some more tutorials on render passes and, and other cool things. Uh, so, stay tuned. And this project file will be available for free uh, on my Gumroad. So subscribe to my Instagram, Facebook, uh, Reddit, whatever. Um, see you soon, guys.